Welcome to Direct My Boss TV and this is a review of the iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max. Both of these handsets essentially are exactly the same. The only difference is the size. Apple have made two versions to suit different tastes, but each one is absolutely packed with the very latest technology. If we take a look at the design well, essentially it's the same as the predecessor, the iPhone XS. And the only visual difference is the new triple camera system across the back, which has unusually large lenses, but the iPhone 11 Pro definitely puts those lenses to good use, and we'll get to the camera shortly. Visually, it's hard to see the changes, but there have been enhancements to the design. The frame is now made from a surgical stainless steel and has the newest version of Apple Super Tough glass across the back, which has been strengthened down to the atomic level. Although the front is the same with that rather large notch by today's standards, inside that notch they have improved the camera tech and now the 3D facial unlocking system is super fast and reliable and will recognize you in all types of lighting conditions and even if your face is partially obscured. There is no fingerprint scanner on the iPhone so the face unlock tech needs to be good and it most definitely is good with the latest generation iPhones. The extremely powerful A13 Bionic chipset means that no task is too much for these phones and no matter how many apps you have open at the same time, the iPhone reliably performs at a consistent level. When it comes to the cameras, well, we see a triple camera system for the first time with iPhones and also for the first time we have an ultra wide angle lens. And quite possibly this camera system is the main reason that the iPhone has got so much attention. Thanks to the new chipset and its image signal processor, along with some very clever software programming, these new iPhones produced outstanding results almost every single time. The beautiful color reproduction that the iPhone is famous for has been taken up a notch now and is just outstanding. Portrait shots are even more impressive this time around, isolating your subject perfectly and then gently falling off into a beautiful bokeh effect. This amazing new triple camera system consists of three 12 megapixel sensors, a 13 mm ultra wide angle lens with a 120 degree field of view and an f2.4 aperture, a normal wide angle lens with a 26 mm focal length, optical image stabilization and an f1.8 aperture and a telephoto lens with a 52 mm focal length, optical image stabilization and an f2.0 aperture. The front camera shows just as good quality as the rear camera, whether that's with photo or video, and it will even shoot slow motion video at 1080p and will also shoot video at 4K resolution. Despite the three lenses having different apertures and letting in different amounts of light, the iPhone is always ready for when you wish to switch between those lenses and it will keep the same exposure and give you a smooth transition between the ultra wide all the way up to the telephoto. And there's no noticeable difference in the quality of these lenses which can be the case with other smartphones. The low light performance as you would expect from iPhone is extremely good and now the new night mode allows you to get clean shots in extreme low light. No need to switch to the night mode, the iPhone will automatically detect if it doesn't have enough light and will give you a short countdown while it takes its exposures and gathers them into one very usable shot. There really is a lot of very clever software processing going on behind the scenes which allows you to just point and shoot and get a great shot time and time again. For video, again, they have completely knocked it out of the park. The HDR 4K 60 frame per second video is just beautiful and smooth thanks to the advanced stabilization that you get with the iPhones. And even in low light, you get smooth, well exposed, low noise images. We really are extremely impressed with the video performance from the new iPhone 11 range. And this phone again retains its title for being the go-to smartphone for filmmakers. This amazing camera performance as well as other features such as the brilliant Face ID system is thanks to the new chipset. Two new machine learning accelerators on the CPU run calculations six times faster and the CPU is capable of up to one trillion operations per second. Both the CPU and the GPU use up to 40% less power which goes a long way towards the massive improvement in battery life that we've seen. Of course we still have wireless charging and now fast charging with an adapter provided in the box. But most importantly, both the iPhone 11 Pro and the Max will easily get even a heavy user through the day. The Super Retina XDR display is another incredible upgrade that we've seen with the new iPhone 11 Pros. It's a custom OLED display with consistent color and brightness. It has a contrast ratio of 2 million to 1 and a brightness of up to 800 nits for when viewing in bright sunlight and up to 1200 nits if you happen to be watching HDR10 films or photos. It's by far and away the brightest display that you can get and no matter what the lighting conditions you will always have a clear view of the screen. 
Although the looks may be split in opinion amongst many people, we actually don't mind the utilitarian look that the new lenses bring to the iPhone. It is altogether an amazing device and quite possibly one of the best phones available on the market at the moment. Although some may feel a little bit shortchanged by Apple and that is simply by the fact that they haven't changed the design of the front of the device for two years now. Although the display itself and the technology inside the notch is extremely impressive, we think it would have been nice if they could have just bothered to redesign it just slightly. However, we absolutely think that this should not put you off the new iPhone 11 Pro. It truly is incredible what Apple have done here and it comes highly recommended from the team at Direct Mobiles. So that's the new iPhone 11 Pro and iPhone 11 Pro Max. And we hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please hit the like button and subscribe to Direct Mobiles for more of the very latest mobile phone reviews. We have over 24 years of award-winning customer service. You can find your next phone at Direct Mobiles.